All right, everybody, you asked for it. Welcome to this very mysterious and dark area called the theater room. It's the, th I don't know, I'm not going to come up with names. But we are today going to react to the first episode of the Black Butler public school arc. Uh, and it is in dub. That is the way that I know it. And so we're going to do it. And unfortunately, you do not get your first uh, experience to Sebastian after all this time as me. Uh, if you want to, uh, here, I'll say it. I'll say the first. Yes, my lord. There you go. You got your first yes, my lord, from me and not not from this. You're welcome. I have to say that this art style, especially with the detail here on the banisters and this wood, is absolutely amazing. So much better than I thought it was going to be. I thought this was all going to be 3D animation, but so far it's not. This is a prestigious public school, one that is protected by the dual sentinels of tradition and discipline. As a student here, Tamaki, Kyoya, and Goth so Mommy. You, CL Phantom Hive. Do you vow from this day forward to abide by all of Western College's traditions and rules? I do. How many students do they have to do this for? Just walk, just. We require your presence and we need you to swear on all of these oaths before we let you in. I suppose if it's prestigious, then. Not a lot, but we're about to see, I'm sure. Plenty of students. That's 3D. It's not bad, though. Yay, that's a weird angle. Love it. Okay, yeah, it's normal. Sorry, I was just... just, it just it's, very, it's very angled. But, you yeah, know, that's normal. Never mind. I'm probably going to have this muted. I don't know how I feel about the opening. It's not bad. It's just very not Black Butler. It does kind of have like a new, and that's Attack on Titan. It's that kind of distorted, uh, flat sound that has that, that like, there's something going on here aspect to it. But everything else about it, it's not really Black Butler. Oh, by the way, Yana Tabosa. I, I don't know if I said that Yana Tabosa was a dude in my live action review which you can also watch, link in the description. I got a comment saying that Yana is a whammon, and I never looked that up, so I, I rescind any time that I said that Yana Tabosa was anything except whammon. Let's go whammon. With whammon. We stand whammon. In fact... <laughs> whammon are my favorite joke. He's a Ravenclaw. Ah, uh, poor Brina Palencia. She's... Everybody's getting old now that it's been ten years since the first... When was the first one? The first... The first one came out in uh, English dub of Black Butler Season 1 was 2007, I think. Editor, who is me, correct if I am wrong. Subscribe if I'm wrong, but dinosaurs still walk the earth? Western College. Located on the banks of the Thames, is widely considered England's most distinguished public school. Its vast grounds are a labyrinth of instructional buildings and chapels, all built in the Gothic style. The school's four boarding houses boast long histories, and its students follow a strict disciplinary code that places tradition above all else. With its storied boarding houses, unique curriculum, and first-rate educators, Western College is said to make true English gentlemen of its students. Noble families willingly pay exorbitant fees to secure their sons the status that attendance at such an institution confers. I understood what CL just said, but I have no idea what CL just said. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go pull a try and be a little bit more transformative content. Not that it's really going to help. Stick it in the corner. Here you go. Here you go. Here's, here's transformative. I got you. I got you. I need a border. I need a I need a motion background border for this sort of stuff. All right, we're mildly more transformative now. First impressions are crucial. I need to keep my wits about me. <gasps> 
CL Touch Grass. Not a gamer. Not one of us. Shun, 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 shun. Donkey Senpai! Now then, what is your name? Phantom Heart. I'm not familiar. The headmaster did mention that a newly enrolled student would be entering... Nah, no, it's Slither Ridden. Draco Malfoy. The rules of Western College, number 48 states, Only prefects or those with one's permission shall be permitted to cross the lawn, as you would know if you had studied them properly. I'm sorry, I Are we finished here? Wood. 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 The sun is much too bright. Do try to be more careful in future, little phantom hive. You're a lucky one, aren't ya? Stepping on the lawn and getting off scot free. Here, the name's Macmillan, and I'm in Blue House Firstborn, like yourself. No, oh, pleasure. not an Irish. Perhaps you could also tell me what the terms P4 and Y refer to. I heard others mention them. Y is a unit of punishment. For every Y, you have to write out 100 Latin hexameters. And P4? <laughs> hexameters! Did you notice the different colored waistcoats they're wearing? It's a mark of their rank. Only prefects are allowed to choose their own fabrics. We got suede. We got velvet, it looks like. We've got... I don't know what that is. And we've got L from Death Note. I'm just kind of wearing whatever. That is a very ominous bat for paddling one's buttocks. The heads of the boarding houses. The one in the red waistcoat is Edgar Redmond. Gryffindor. Which is known to attract students of Don't worry, I'll only make this joke a couple of times. In the blue waistcoat is Lawrence Bluer, the prefect hey! of Bluer? No, come on. No, come on. Bluer, really? <laughs> what was the name of this dude? Redmond. No. The smart one is Ravenclaw. Hold on. Exceptionally high so the that one's just Tomaki because rich. This one's for the smarty pants. Okay, actually, Ravenclaw. Sapphire Owl House for students who are academically gifted. Gather. Herman Greenhill wears the green waistcoat as the Greenhill. Prefect of Green Lion House, catering to students who for athletics and sport. Athletics. Okay, well that's a little different. And in the purple waistcoat is Gregory Violet, the prefect of Violet. Guys, why did I let you talk me into this? Home to students who are accomplished in the arts. They're the Snape. prefects of Western College's historic boarding houses, also known as the P4. Uh -huh. I am not ever going to get used to that character. And we all know that... We all know that he is either going to die in the next three episodes or he's gonna be here the entire time and i think it's the latter forbidding students to cross the lawn it's a rule with no purpose traditions they can feel like that oh no we'll be late if we don't hurry and i don't want any wise i'm sorry what did you say Tradition. oh wise yeah because punishment <laughs> Suddenly, it must be difficult for you transferring in the middle of a half. 
I've been waiting for this chance, so it's well worth any extra effort. So Colette is the mystery. Here's a rotten egg. Take yes. this now. Once finished shining the prefect shoes, you may return. Then we will give you an appropriate greeting. So the punishment is if you are late, you don't get to learn. I am not ready. Welcome to our boarding house, Phantom Hive. Phantom Hive! <laughs> now everyone. I do Kill him till he dies. You'll enjoy your stay. Oh. There, boy. Now that we've welcomed you in the traditional way, you're officially a member of Sapper Owl House. <laughs> <laughs> Study harder than ever before. Than ever before. Cease this racket at once, or I'll assign you all wise. The housemaster. <gasps> Surprised to see an older boy joining in, Clayton. Care to explain? Well, you see, sir, it is something of a house tradition. Tradition or not, we must still exercise moderation. I take it your phantom hive, the new boy. Welcome to Sapphire Owl House. Palms for free for free. Sebastian! I'm Michaelis, the house master. The house master. Master Michaelis, a pleasure to meet you. So, hold up. I just am making this connection now. Here it is. Why, hello there. Is th is this actually from this arc? I thought these were completely unreal. I thought this was just cool, but it is actually a reference. I hope you are unharmed. Your concern is much appreciated, though I would have been even more grateful to you had you intervened a bit sooner. It's a rite of passage, after all. I would have to be quite the boor to have prevented it entirely. I am simply one hell of a house master. God damn it. Sharp, You're wanted in the <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. Simply one hell of a house master. Ordinarily, the headmaster would be here to offer you a few words of welcome. But as he is. But as I, the vice president, the headmaster's uncle, who usurped the power from his father and uh hamlet reference Busy. i shall take his place i'm lower master of the college johan nagaris the headmaster is the undisputed authority here within this institution his decisions are as law and we prefects are tasked with enforcing that law and governing the student body all the troublesome duties fall to us it's beastly this has been the school's tradition since okay. it was founded. It's weird. So, what? Oh. Master is the undisputed authority here. Within Headmaster's in charge. His decisions are as law. Okay. And prefects are tasked with enforcing that law and enforcing it. Student body. All the troubles okay. and duties fall to us. It's beastly. This has been the school's tradition since it was founded. And here, tradition, tradition is absolute. All right, well, slap me in the face and call me handsome, but I, I feel like the uh, the overall uh, messaging of this show is going to be how, you know, tradition is bad and wrong if you do it for no reason. Just calling it here. So I ask you, CL Phantom Hive. Progressive, yay! From this day forth, it's better than Geico. By all of Western colleges, traditions and rules. I do. As proof of this, please sign your name. Master, Master Agaris. 
Pardon me, pardon me, pardon me. Pardon me, pardon me, pardon me. Now then, if you will sign. Welcome to Western College, Phantom Hive. We're pleased to have you with us. That was very robotic. Either that was one of the worst examples of anything in, uh, in dub. Where you just said, pardon me, over and over again. Or something's fishy, which sounds much more Black Butler. Well, best of luck and all that. Yeah, 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 that. Sorry, but when do you think I'll be able to give my regards to the headmaster? The headmaster is far too busy a man to meet with ordinary students. You'll get no such appointment. Only we prefects are given that honor. All right, well, something's... Guesses. Theorizing. Uh, headmaster is either, like, Grell, just straight up someone completely just supernatural, or is dead. Ordinary. Or it's the KKK, just like in the, in the live-action movie. Students can't meet with him. Peculiar. Peculiar indeed. The is also the monarch of this school. Public schools, private institutions where boys aged 13 to 18 live together, devoting themselves to their studies that they may become proper gentlemen. There, the entirety of their lives will be governed by the ringing of bells. <laughs> Early morning tea. <laughs> no, no breakfast. Just tea. Oh, then there's the British confuse and frighten me. Drudges, you say? Right. They're a bit like if your younger brother was also your apprentice. It's an old tradition that's unique to Weston. A lower boy is assigned to a senior to serve as their drudge. Though we don't start working till after breakfast. What kind of work? Oh, simple things like tidying, ironing their school dress, and preparing hot water bottles in the evenings. So then it's just playing at being a butler. Hey, he said the thing. Well, not really. He only said half of the thing. So uh, what you have to do is you have to be a Thrawn at a Thane. A, th a house Carl. None of you are going to get that reference. So you have to go and be a Thrall, and you just have to, oh, normal things. Uh, you clean up after them, wipe their butt when they poop, wipe their butt when they don't poop. Another gormless tradition. Are the prefects assigned drudges as well? Of course they are. Take Clayton, for instance. He's drudge to Lawrence Bluer, prefect of our house. I, I just really hope that the whole messaging about traditions being bad and dumb just is not at all the central theme, the takeaway of the show. Because this hurts. I hope it has some extra thing to do with this. If it doesn't, I'm going to scream. Hmm, that one. From butlers, in that their drudge master is expected to look after them. It's more a brotherly relationship than master and servant, but only yeah. so brothers do that. And if you're lucky enough to be a prefect's drudge, you get all sorts of special privileges. You can wear the house flower on your lapel or even cross the lawn if your prefect gives you permission. What's more, rumor has it that they get to join the P4 at the headmaster's midnight tea parties. Hmm. If the rumor holds true, then there is a way for an ordinary student to see the headmaster. But that exclusive guest list complicates things quite a bit. How bothersome. I'd love to be able to attend one someday. How bothersome. If only. If only. My current approach isn't getting me anywhere. Time to cut straight to the point. I'd like to change the subject, if I may. I was wondering whether you happen to know the Duke of Clemens' son. Derek Arden, in Scarlet Fox House, if I recall correctly. That, that happens, you know, quite, quite a bit. That's just the feeling I get whenever I do anything outside. That's why I stay indoors. <laughs> I didn't realize this was a school for cliquish hens. Okay, it's born from the many inter-house competitions. 
Like Quidditch? He was transferred from Red House to Purple House for some special reason. He was? I don't know the specifics, but they say it was on the headmaster's orders. And who's they? Please, that's enough! Best keep your nose out of other houses. Guys, stop! It's the first episode! I realized I have to do something that would make Bassie very happy. First of all, butler pants. I don't know if you can tell, but butler pants. Very epic. I can't use these as a tax write-off because I don't make any money off of YouTube. Sorry, I was just thinking kawaii, and uh, I hate it. I hate it. I'm too cynical in my old age. What is that pose about? I should investigate Dara Garden's house reassignment. That could give me my first lead. Phantom Hive! <sighs> yes, Clayton. Absent a senior, I'll be assigning your tasks. Start with this room here. Uh, just to clarify, I meant to clean all of it. Indeed. Make it spotless. <laughs> Indubitably. I want it so I want it so spotless that I could eat my lunch off of it. Sebastian. <laughs> I wonder, I wonder if this is actually going to work. You called? <laughs> I wonder if this is going to work. Can you confirm Derek Arden changed... Okay, I was waiting for him to be like, clean this up for me. Uh, and then I was also then waiting for Sebastian to be like, um, no. Unf unfortunately, my lord. It's not going to be very becoming. It would ruin your cover if you did. I'm so sorry, but, um, I'm going to have to slap you now. Whoosh! And that's what you get for daring to question me. The, uh, house... Housemaster? Housemaster? Wh whatever position he has. As it happens, I can. His name appears next to Violet Wolfhouse in the register. That's where he should be now. I'll go call on him. You stay here and clean. Very good, my lord. You to your work. And I, mine. That's so majestic! <laughs> he is so majestic! <laughs> Alright. Okay, that just looks like the... It kind of looks like the Scooby-Doo house. Like in the beginning of Scooby-Doo opening. Uh, from, uh... Scooby Doo, where are you? I think kind of looks like that. Um, but also, tell me I'm wrong. Tell I mean I'm a little wrong. It's it's mostly this jet out here that's just weird and death e uh, soul eatery. This is certainly an aesthetic choice. Though I prefer. Thank you, CL. Thank you. It's an outsider. Is he mad? <gasps> it's an outside. No. no. <laughs> he went outside. It's someone who went outside. Did, do you think that they would talk to me? Is that is that a gamer girl? Is that a gamer girl? Do you think he do you think she would talk to do she think she would play some Fortnite with me? Gamer girl, gamer girl, must protect, must protect. Lying in wait? Oi there, SWAT. You have business with Purple House, or are you not fitting in with the blue boys? You're going to need more than just high marks before you're ever allowed in here. Get out now. Be gone. Outsider. Your kind are not welcome. Go away! Ouch! Get out of here! Stay away from purple. Just pelting with rocks. What's the commotion on? Running off astray is all. One of those sapphire swats showed up. Well, that failed painfully. The houses are more than rivals. They're absolutely contemptuous of each other. What hope do I have of meeting the headmaster if I can't even visit Arden? My peerage and wealth are meaningless in these halls. No, not a glare right over the face. A student, even asking questions will be difficult. Given my limited options, there's only one way I'm getting to the heart of this. I'm going to have to curry favor with the Prefect Four. 
No, not them. What if CL turns them all against each other, and then they start fighting, but they have to start fighting in petty ways? What if CL gives them cursed objects? What if CL gives them each uh, a cloak with curse of binding and curse of vanishing, and they're stuck with it on, and then they vanish? Completely gone to the to the uh, to the other world. What if he shoots? <laughs> Where have you been? Out! Blast! He knows I didn't clean up. I'm not one to hand out compliments, Phantom High. However, your actions today warrant an exception. Sorry. <laughs> Our ancient nay, historic dining room has never looked so spotless. Brilliant work, my boy. Brilliant. <laughs> Brilliant, my boy. He's 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 under eighteen. It was explained earlier. He's under eighteen. Brilliant, my boy. <laughs> that rotter went too far. Master Michaelis. Yes. What is it? Would you just look at this dining room? Phantom Hive here did all of it. Quite impressive indeed. Well done, young man. Most excellent work. No, don't rub it in. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Wait a tick. Yes, of course. Clayton is blue as drudge. And much more accessible. A little flattery could get me all the way to the prefix. It's perfect. I'm ever so glad I made you smile. Truthfully, housework has always been something of a hobby of mine. I'm at your service. <laughs> no! <laughs> Stop, please, no. <laughs> No, I feel so wrong. I feel so wrong. <laughs> no. <laughs> Did not like that. <sighs> uh, it's gonna haunt my nightmares. Ugh. Greetings, my dear boy. It was so dreadful what happened on the camp in Nia. I pray that you have recovered enough from the ordeal to enjoy your Easter Sunday. I hope it all the more because I am unable to do so myself. I am far too racked with worry to find any joy in the holiday. It's my cousin Clemens, you see, or more specifically, I haven't seen Derek. Before I before I lose lore, uh, I have not seen the Book of Atlantic in so long. I think I saw it when it came out, which was what. Seven years ago? <laughs> Who is the cause of my profound distress? Derek is no, not a young boy. In college, it has come to my attention that his parents haven't seen him since last summer. What's more, the boy used to write them every day, yet his letters have stopped. Hey, it's the stuff that they use for the theater, for the the the, the trailer. House, and he refused to come out. Ordinarily, I'd assume he was entering a rebellious phase, as youths do. However, <laughs> as youths do, the only student at Weston to have ceased communicating. If only there were a way for me to unravel this mystery. Poor Clemens is quite ill over losing all contact with his. It seems to me that they put like all of the effort into this one episode, all of the three D animation, uh stuff for that uh, for that trailer where is he Sebastian in the telecom oh my god 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 good how touching she wants you to uncover why the students at Weston have gone missing public schools are in deposit protected from government interference there's not much you can do directly. More than that, though, I'd wager the Queen simply wants to avoid any potential scandal. Keeping up appearances, <laughs> even in crisis. Yes, Bastian! That's the trouble with humans. The logical course of action would be to have someone infiltrate the school, but Weston is full of noblemen's sons. There aren't many peers to choose from, and all would be easily recognized. Trying to disguise any of them would be risky. You'll go yourself, then? I have no choice, and I wouldn't mind Her Majesty owing me a favor. 
The real issue is whether Weston is accepting new students or not. Quite simple. If there isn't an opening for you, then create one. I'd better handle any investigating on the ground. For your Kill them all, Haru. Without risk of exposure. I leave the how to you. Yet. And we gotta mute this, but how's the how's the closing? Hey, it's Sid! I mean, you can't go wrong with Sid. Sid can make the trashiest song ever, and it'd still be amazing. He's butler in disguise. That's the next episode. The next episode, which is coming out... <sighs> probably in a week. If you want to see more of this, be sure to smash like, because only if we get to 10 likes am I going to watch the next one. Which means you're probably going to have to share it. Uh, but you should probably do that and thank you all so much for checking out this episode uh, and if you want to see more of this I'm also going to put it all on my second channel this one is on the main channel for now but everything else is going to be on the second channel so be sure to check over there for more Sebastian content I'd like to keep all of the high effort stuff I'm going to leave it on this channel the Copix channel uh, even if it doesn't really get any views